everybody, it's Richard again here from Electric Classic Cars and this week's episode is all about what is the true cost of running an electric car because if you believe the media or some articles apparently it's cheaper to run a diesel now than electric but as an electric car owner and speaking to lots of electric car owners as well that I don't think is strictly true so let's get into the numbers. Right, now before we get into the numbers behind me there's a news item to cover because for the first time ever in the UK last month, which is December 2022, fully electric cars outsold petrol cars. About one third of all cars sold were pure electric, which is fantastic news. And uh, to add to that, in 2022, over half of the energy generated on the grid was either renewable or nuclear. So that means more than, more than half of our energy now is coming from renewable sources. Mm -hmm. And only 1.5% coming from coal. 1.5% coming yep. from coal now. So coal is almost gone. So there you go. Over half our electricity in the UK comes from renewable and nuclear sources. And coal is only 1.5%. So for all those people out there, it says, where did your electricity come from? From your electric cars. It comes from coal. Not in the UK, it doesn't. But you didn't click on this video to hear about things like that. You want to know whether or not an electric car costs more to run than a petrol or diesel car. So let's get into these numbers. Right, now everybody got their calculators ready. I'm gonna go into full on numbers and teacher mode. In fact, I've even got me pokey stick. Right, now today, children, we're gonna be talking about petrol, diesel, and electric. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm gonna get hammered by my mum who's, who used to be a teacher and she does not sound like that. Right, so what have we got here? We have got a uh, petrol car. So I've chosen a BMW 320i, um, a BMW 320d, and a car which we know quite well, which is my wife's 2019 Tesla Model 3 base model. Um, why? Because I think they're fairly similar cars, although that's going to be a massive debate below in the comments below. Probably people are going to say, oh, the 320i is nothing like a Tesla Model 3. Well, that's the closest I could find. So there we go. I've calculated out what the miles per litre, not miles per gallon, because it's all litres now for costs in the UK. So miles per litre for the petrol and the uh, diesel. And these are real world numbers, guys, not your like, you know, brochure numbers. This, uh, I've done a little bit of research to try and find out what are the real world miles per litre for these cars. But, and I've done the same for the Tesla. So the Tesla, although I think the range uh, is like 240, we only normally get around about 220. So I've used 220 mile range. And again, not the 54 kilowatt hour battery pack that it says it is. We've calculated it's 50 kilowatt hours usable. So we, these are real world numbers I'm basing it off. And then cost of fuel sort of things. Uh, presently, as today stands, the average um, uh, is 1.52, so £1.52 per litre for petrol in the UK, £1.74 per litre for diesel in the UK, and electricity is where it gets a little bit more varied, let's say, because the price cap currently in the UK is 34 pence per kilowatt hour. You shouldn't be paying any more than 34 pence per kilowatt hour uh, at home for your electricity. And... Um, this number here, 12 pence per kilowatt hour, is probably all the electric car owners out there are nodding, going, oh yes, I know where he's going with this now. That is uh, Octopus Go, for instance, which is a tariff which is cheaper at night time, which is when you charge up your electric car, than in the daytime. So 12 pence per kilowatt hour for nighttime charging. And over here, I've I've tracked down the most expensive charger I could find out there, which I think was a rapid charger on the M6 motorway and it was 75 pence per kilowatt hour. So I've gone worst case, best case scenario for electricity. Um, now, I'm calculating it out on a 200 mile journey that the BMW 320i would cost 41 pounds and 87. Diesel would cost a little bit cheaper, 31 pounds and 64. Now, if we charged up at night time, which is what I do and what most electric car owners do, if they've got off-street parking, and bear in mind, only 75% of people in the UK that own cars have off-street parking. 25% people don't have access to off-street parking. So what do they do? They can't go by these numbers. They'll have to go off public charging infrastructure. And the worst case scenario is that would have cost them £34. But bear in mind, the closest 
rapid charger to us is Tesco's, which I think is 50 pence per kilowatt hour at the moment, or I think McDonald's, which is 40 something um, pence per kilowatt hour. So that is your worst case scenario. If you went to, to the most expensive rapid charger, it would be 34 pounds, which is indeed more expensive than a diesel. But you gotta admit, that's an extreme case. Um, and then what I've done, I've worked out what the average annual miles is in the UK, which is apparently, no, I didn't work that out, somebody else worked that out. But essentially I've found out that is 7,400 miles is the average mileage in the UK. So that means if you had a BMW 320i, it would cost you around about £1,550 to put petrol in it for the year. And if you had a BMW 320d, it would cost somewhere around about £1,171. Now, if you had an electric car and were charging it up at night, like most electric cars uh, do, and you were on that 12 pence per kilowatt hour rate, it would cost you £202, which is a whole lot cheaper than these numbers here. And if you charge up at your uh, 34 pence per kilowatt hour in daytime, it's still a whole lot cheaper than here. The only way you can get the numbers to end up being more expensive to run an electric car than a uh, petrol or diesel car is if you were charging up on the most expensive rapid chargers you could find out there. And yes, that would be £1,258 a year compared to £1,171 for the diesel. But that is not realistic. That is what's called stretching the truth to get the headlines and get people to click on your you know, news item, if you like. And that's unfortunately how the media works. Um, controversial. <laughs> but essentially, that is not realistic, guys. Do your number. If you go into ZapMap and you looked in your area and you don't have off-street parking, like my dad, for instance, that lives in a second floor flat and he has an electric motorbike. Well, that's a bad example because he, being the plug pirate, click on this video above to find out more. He specifically goes out and knows where all the free charges are. So a bad example there. But if you did live in a flat and you had to, um, like you would with a petrol or diesel car, go out to public you know, infrastructure to fuel up your vehicle, your electric car, you would need to charge up off um, rapid chargers um, that are out there. Download ZapMap, have a look where your rapid chargers are in your area, and have a look at what the real numbers are for charging up, because 75 pence per kilowatt hour is the extreme end. So there you go. I think I've crunched my numbers right. I've double and triple checked it, and Tim's checked it as well. So if I've got any of these numbers wrong, blame Tim. And of course, you're not taking into account the savings you'll get with an EV for maintenance and uh, point. Yep. The, the tax differences at the moment. This is just fuel. Uh, taxes differences over uh, in the UK. So. Yeah, that's me, but you've not included that. This is I've just not the included fuel. that yeah. yet, um, you, but you're right on the maintenance. Uh, service costs for petrol and diesel cars is a whole lot more than electric cars. Um, so there's savings there as well. But obviously, you know, I have to caveat that with the fact that, I'm gonna use my pointy stick. Electric cars do presently cost more than their petrol and diesel equivalents. So, you know, you have to be fair with these sort of analysis that electric cars presently are more expensive than petrol and diesel cars. But to say that they are more expensive to run than petrol or diesel cars is simply stretching the truth by a lot. So these are the numbers that I've calculated. And to be fair, my numbers are actually cheaper than this because I have solar panels at home as well. So in the summertime, actually, a lot of my charging is not at 12 pence per kilowatt hour. It's at zero pence per kilowatt hour because essentially it, the, the solar panels are charging up my battery storage or sometimes in the daytime if there's excess solar, it's also charging up the car as well. But either way, I'm getting a lot of electricity from solar panels in the summertime. So that 12 pence per kilowatt hour is cheaper for me in the summertime. Um, the other thing um, that's worth mentioning uh, as well is you know, if you do have a Tesla out there and you haven't started playing around with your app, like me over Christmas, um, there's a little um, uh, bit of information in your Tesla app, which is what started this, if I'm honest, because we did a lot of journeys over Christmas time. 
which included motorway charging, public charging infrastructure as well. And then as I was a little bit bored um, over Christmas, I started playing with this app. And I found that if you go to the charge stats, it'll tell you how much uh, the car has cost you, or for instance, over the last month, um, and what it would have been if it was petrol. So for us with our Tesla Model 3, doing lots of miles over Christmas, going up to North Yorkshire from Wales and back, charging up on um, yeah, public su uh, superchargers and infrastructure on the motorways, um, we spent £64 on fuel in the last 30 days. And if it was a petrol equivalent, it would have been £426. So that's a £362 saving in one month. And that's what triggered it. I thought, hmm, I wonder what that would be if, if we uh, crunched numbers for other cars. So if you do have a Tesla, have a look at that, because it's quite interesting information. So there we go. Yes, you can crunch the numbers and make it more expensive to run an electric car than diesel, but it's a bit of a stretch of the truth to say that that's the, the case for everybody. So I'm interested to know, comments below, electric car owners, are you getting those sort of numbers? And... Um, any other questions below, really? So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.